All right. So I just want to share this. Yeah, let's see. It's like. Oops. No. Oh, so we used to type texting him. Oopsie. Did I do that? All right. So shit out of the wraps. Slack. Landing practice. A three. Nope. We don't have a two twenty yet. All right. So let's talk about. I'm set up. Right, I'm set up here. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna do a, I'm gonna do a 360. So I'm coming into PBI. Just kind of joined the the last bit of the arrival. Uh, zero nine zero four is the wind. Uh, plenty of visibility, right? So I've been getting some questions about landing the A320. That's just going to screw up here. I'm actually going to take over and try to try to crank it back around. And I'll do a direct to tune. That one. Right? So I've set the current conditions at Palm Beach in in the sim. Uh, so it's just easy, kind of easiest for me. So, freeway, yeah, fairways up here, freeways up here. But theoretically speaking, I could just add that to my flight plan, but I just did a go around from 3-2 uh, there. I just want to crank it around. All right, so, I'll watch that back. Some questions about the A320, right? So, for the purposes of this, right, let me put the touches on so you can see what I'm looking at. Alright, for the purpose of this, right, we're going to use this load here, right? So I got a 144,000 pound plane, right? I'm going to go direct sands nav. I don't know why it eased off on that bank. It's still going to crank around quite a bit. Anyways, so we got a hundred and forty forty four thousand pound plane, right? So what we need to do is calculate the speeds, right? So I'm gonna pause this for a second here right 144,000 pounds it's on the bottom page of this chart which lives in aircraft info on the slack so 144,000 pound plane right right you got weight v ref which is actually it's that's your touchdown speed or your vls right so 144 136 okay now we come to the next page right vls is the ref speed the speed for a flap flap full right it's computed blah 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 1.23 velocity stall protection for the landing configuration right it's the basis for computing v app and threshold speeds vls is not modifiable by the crew right so i used to just come in at 140 every time 140 knots every time and i had problems right and i found this chart and this is a great chart it works for takeoff it works for landing but really what it works for is landing. Like this is, if you want to get good at landing the A320, this is the chart you want. And actually it will even work for the 321 because remember, it's the same wing, okay? So what do we do? Do we just come in here at 136 knots? Not quite, right? VAP is what we want to, that's our approach target speed, right? The speed at which the approach is flown, right? VLS plus five, plus one-third the headwind, not to exceed VLS, which in our case is 136, right? So it's not to exceed 136 plus 20. So it's not to exceed 156, right? 
No additions are made for gusts, right? So on infinite flight, I'm going to take that. I do not have uh, in-flight assistant open. I will if it will connect. Uh, okay, ready. Excellent. So let's talk about this. My headwind component here, right? The wind at Palm Beach is 090 at 4, so I pretty much have a 4 knot headwind. What's 4 divided by 3? It's 1, right? If it was a headwind, what's well, 10 divided by 3? It's 3.3 basically, right? So I would add 4 knots. 15 knot headwind, right? That's 5. So if I had a, if I had a headwind of 15 and there's a component calculator, right? Right, Google that's Phoenix Aviation. Right. So, say the wind was was weird. Right. So, the runway is one oh. I think the runway is zero nine nine. Zero nine nine. Right. The wind direction is zero nine. At four, calculate. You got a four knot headwind. Right. So let's just say. Let's say the wind was. Zero to zero at fifteen. Right? You got a fifteen knot crosswind, three knot tailwind. Uh, right? So I would add one or two knots to VRF and see how it played out. If you get a fifteen knot crosswind, meh, right? But this is a conversion calculator you can use to figure out how much headwind you got. So one third the headwind component, right? So right now we get a gentle, gentle thing, right? We're gonna fly the approach down. I'm gonna cut the corner. I'm not gonna go to then right down to 2,000. I'm not gonna put any VNAV in here, right? I'm not gonna put any VNAV in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and fly it, you know, like I'm getting. V okay. So V app right now, right? 144,000 pound plane, 136 plus 5 plus 1. So 136 plus 6, that's 142. Okay? 142. And what I usually will do, especially if in 5 or 6 knots, <coughs> I will add an extra knot just for the infinite flight auto, auto throttle. Because usually it's about a knot behind. The, you know, if I set it to. Uh, it'll hold 141 and I want that 142 and you'll see how steady it's going to be right so I'm just going to recalibrate real quick kind of set up here and uh, give me direct sands all right so go on the base leg and I'm going to come right down which is usually what they'll give you in Palm Beach And I need to crank this, crank this around a little bit. I want to be on that. Uh, and kick a little rudder. See how I center that? Center it right here. Not too much, but center it anyways. Okay. Sands. There we go. Nav. Right. And as I come by the field, right, so I can buy the field here, I'm going to slow it down to 10 on the downwind, so set speed 210, set speed 210, set speed 210, I'll get some spoilers out, <coughs> I'll usually go flaps 1 on the A320 at about 210. Might be a thousand. Okay, I'm gonna aim to turn in before Wilba here. To turn in kind of like this on my base.
right? The big thing that I'll do is I will punch the auto thrust. So I just punched it out, punched it back in. Uh, that's something I do and it works very well. Okay, so I'm on the normal approach to Palm Beach now. Palm Beach is over my shoulder. I cannot freaking wait because I'll be doing this. Right, I'm going to start adjusting my trim. See how my trim down here, right? My trim down here. I need to adjust it, right? The slower you go, the more trim. So it's supposed to be Zyzer at 2,000. And that's where you intercept and start coming down and paste at 500. Now, you'll see me duck under the glide slope in a few minutes here. I still got another, another little ways, right? So for the base leg, right? For the base leg, I'm going to slow it up to 190. Flaps one. Flap. And I'm kind of, I'm just trying to keep that trim kind of centered there. See the balloon? Oh, it's pushing me down. Okay, under the under the glide we go. And one seven zero to Zizer once I intercept. Get out of nav and just set up for. Okay, this is the normal angle of a 320 right here, right? Two and a half, about two degrees, two and a half degrees. Now see how I got the speed set on 210 and 209? Right now, watch this pitch up. I want to punch the punch the auto throttle again. Flaps two. Actually, this one I'll show you. You should go to flaps two at this point. It's going to keep you on a more level level situation. Maybe I wanted a 200. Maybe I was right. Maybe. Oops. All right. All here, right? Let's look at that. Now, see how there's more up angle on it? See how before you were pointed here. Now you're up a little bit more, right? Now I'm going to fly it myself. I'm going to go ahead and hit flaps two now. Flaps two. And you'll watch the trim push down plane balloons. Right? So now I want like a 130. Set speed 170. Set speed 170. Maintain that. I'm going to intercept and maintain that until Zizer. I forgot to punch it there. See how it's pitching up? Right? I can flaps three here if I wanted to. I'm just going to kind of hold this, right? Okay, here comes the intercept. So 
Sometimes I'll bank a little harder, sometimes I'll bank, it depends on the winds. All right, I'm lined up now. Okay, nine miles out. Going to maintain that 170 to Zyzer. All right, I put on 10 knots. That nose is... I should hit nav. I f now, if I had the VNAV programmed, I would have uh, what the ref was 142. So I'm just making slight adjustments on the runway right now. All right. So okay, JetBlue 721, you can begin reducing. All right. But we just hold it to going to leave it on you. Now, see how that's still 169, just hit 170? It struggles a little bit, right? I'm making little tiny adjustments, right? I'm actually recalibrate because I just sat down. All right, so size are here comes the glide. Got a gentle descent. Set speed, 143. Set speed, 143. Gear down. Flaps three. Watch this, all right? Flaps full. See that? Trickery, but I'm on where I want to be now, right? All right, she's settling out. Okay, I'm going to take it now, right? I got good trim. I got good angle. I may play with the trim a little bit, so I'm not holding quite a B. Maybe a 20. Right in there is good. It's usually some 3 and 28. If I had to guess, it would be like more like 26 to 28. Now watch my vertical speed. It's barely moving. Once I set it, adjustment, right? Could actually even give it more. It's not comfortable, so I'm gonna like recalibrate. Make sure you're in a comfortable position. One thousand. Okay, one thousand. We're stable. I'm a little bit high. Letting that vertical speed catch back up, right? And I just kind of couple of times, right? And I'm right on it right now. Getting a little bit high on the approach there. All right, let it settle a little bit, okay? 500. Stable. I want that flight path vector right on the bricks there. Watch that flight path vector. 400. All right, I'm not yanking. Right. There we go. Now I got low. Right. You can always put an extra knot on if you need it. Yeah. Now it's gonna. Yeah. One hundred. Okay. Autopilot's 50, out. Forty. 30, Thirty. Start. The Power off. Leave that flight there. Boom. Easy peasy. Beautiful cover girl. Right? Maybe a touch early. That's going to be dead. Right? So I got the applause. Now let's take a look see where we landed. Right? So it's all about configuring and then the speeds, right?
right? Okay, so drop the speed. Now you should hear the thrust come out here. There goes the speed, gear down. All right, speed's gonna drop like a rock. Unfortunately, like the flight path vector doesn't do the right thing when you're in this kind of mode. But remember, I started that descent just uh, as the glide was coming down. Punch the auto throttle in and out, right? And then I wish they would show the flight path vector, but they don't, right? So coming down, show you how many, like, I really am not doing much, right? I'm playing with the trim so that I don't have to yank up or down. I got a little in front of the trim, so I got low. And then it tried to catch me back high, so I had to knock off a little bit of it. Right? So coming in. Autopilot's out now. Right? Last adjustment. Flaring, flaring, flaring. Adjusting. So that's not bad. Probably about five degrees if I can see the, uh, yep, so just, just under five degrees, right? That's a perfect angle right there, right? Maybe a touch more if you really wanted. The spoilers out. Yep. Just about like that, right? I'll reset that and then show you one more time. So we should be 170 here, right? Ooh, hang on, right? Okay. All right, here it comes. Set it down. Set speed 146. Oops. Flaps 3. Flaps full. All right. Okay, so see how it took a dive there on me? So I'll set it to 144, right? So that it maintains 143. And now I'm literally, I'm just holding my iPad. It's getting a little high up top here. So I'm going to let it drop through a little bit. Another way to do that is pull that, pull that amount of speed off. And you see the flight path, the flight path back to drop. Right. Now I'll pull out of it a little bit. Try to catch it. The glide slopes a little can be slippery. One thousand. Stable at one thousand. The slower you are on approach, the less vertical speed you want. I'm probably looking for 750 right here. If I had to take a guess, I'm looking for 7 something. 7 and change closer to 8. Right? See, I'm just making tiny, tiny adjustments. Look what my flight path vector is now, right? Dead center, the, the, the circle, the, the center line's coming right down the middle of the circle. Now, see, I have to adjust again. Going low. Bring it back up. <coughs> right? And it's just keep the keep that center, right? Keep the center line in the center of the circle. If you can, you know. It takes a little practice. I would recommend it. Now if you want to hit the bricks, you gotta aim a touch low. And this is I was told this by a professional pilot. Right? If I wanna aim, hit hit on the white bricks there. This is where I want to be. Minimums, okay. I bring it back right a little bit. Back left a little bit. One tiny, 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 right? 50, 40, 40 30, 30, 20, 20 10. 10. Right there, that's the best one. Holding, 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 holding. And I flew the nose down. 
money. That was money right there. All right, so let's play that one back. That was a real good one. Let's see what my touchdown speed was. I'd like to know. So, it was supposed to be 137. So I was three knots slow when I touched down, right? Supposed to be at, oh, sorry, 136, so I'm two knots slow. So that was, that was pretty much perfect right there. It doesn't get much better than that. And then fly the nose, fly the nose. Right, so fly that nose down. My flare angle was a little low. No, it was okay. Let's see. Okay, there's the touch. Spoiler's coming. Okay. Let's see what the angle is right there. Yeah, four and a half, five degrees. And 134. So two knots slow. Not bad. And even better, touched on the bricks. Right? And like I said, you're just adjusting to keep that flight path vector where you want to go. Right? Um, now if I back it up, if I back up and set a crosswind here, let's see if I can get a, let's get established here. All right. I'm going to go right this. Okay, let's set up a crosswind. Uh, what's it been? It's been northeast mostly lately. So let's set up a crosswind, and let's just say it's, uh, let's just say it's 11, okay? So let me get a, let me get a speed here. 48 at 10, almost a straight crosswind. So... 136, 3, 8, 136 plus 8. Actually, we're down to 142,000 pounds now because I burnt off some fuel. So, let's see now here. What am I doing? I'm looking for the speeds. Omelette Ar Arcade is following me. Oh, good for them. Uh, Sata Virtual. Oh, no, wrong one best sheet they've ever made um, is this chart here. So 142 is 135. So technically I was only a knot off, I guess. I thought I was a 142. Uh, so 135 plus 8 is 140. So still 143 is what I'm looking for. Right? And release. Right? Right? Coming around to, to line up. Right, that wind's going to push me a little bit more. Right? Bouncing around just a touch. Right? No panic here. Right? I'm going to set up on the crab. You want to be setting up like with your nose pointed that way. Right? You don't want to be upwind setting this way. Right? Okay? Right? 172 Zyzer. Technically, you get enough here to go the next notch of flaps, but as I understand it, it's gear down, then flaps. Okay, coming into it here. 250. Gentle descent now, right? Okay, there's Zyzer, gear down, set speed 143, flaps 3, flaps 3, flaps full, alright, if I kind of do that, she should fall right through. Remember, this is less of a headwind, right? This is 
more of a crosswind. I probably only got a two or three knot crosswind. I got a pretty sharp angle on it here. So I'm just going to adjust back to the left. The slip technique doesn't work. The slip technique, I would dip my left wing down and pull right rudder to keep straight. Uh, it doesn't work quite so good in the flight. Now, see this vertical speed? That's like the slightest motion on my iPad that I'm using to catch up. It's kind of like a, almost like a pulse. Right? 1,000. Stable at 1,000. I would say you want no more than 850. Right? See, I'm 142. Let's go 143. Get the 144. See, that extra knot usually matters in the flight. I don't like my lineup. Right? So there we go. That's what I was looking for. Get it straight down the wrong way. Oop. Getting a little bit. Right? For, for each knot of speed you put on, you're going to wind up reducing your trim a lot. I actually don't like my angle here either. So 400. That's more like it, right there. 300. Right? Remember, I'm aiming low to hit, the, uh, to hit those solid bricks, right? Now see, there's the center line with the flight path back there. 200. Watch that flight path vector, right? Right, okay. Right, just get it coming across the line again, right? 50, 40, 30, 30 20, Todd. 10. Now I'm coming right rudder. got the claps a little bit long, but I was kicking out my crap and lowering my wing, okay? So let's replay. So, coming down, coming down, I had the flight path back to, I don't even know if I can, see what that is right there? That's where you want it. When you land, you want it even a little touch lower than that. Like, see how that's just across the end of the runway? You want that flight path back to shift from in front of you, you know, so it's, I don't even know how to do this. So imagine the V is the flight path vector, right? When you're coming down, right, you want it pretty much right there, right? You want to just make adjustments so that this, the flight path vector, right, is right, I apologize for this, is like right there. You know, you want it right dead on center line and kind of like right in this neck of the woods right here where I'll put the point of the V on it, right about there, right? You aim a little low to hit the bricks, okay? And then when you flare, right, that's where you want it to go. You don't want it to go any higher than that, right? No higher than that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look outside and see what this looks like. Now look at the crab angle, right? So at the end of this, I'm going to have to lower my, you know, kick the rudder to the right and lower my, lower my left wing. My left wing's going to sweep forward. All right, so here it comes. Kicking out now. I kicked out late. Straighten the wings out. Not center line. Ten knot crosswind, no problem. Flaring, flaring. Now I never went out, but I held my descent. Check the descent. Watch, I'm never gonna go back up. Right? And there's no shame in that. I did get the applause, but that was probably a 200 and something foot per minute land. If you watch a real A320, you'll see it hit the ground, boom, just like that. A little bit of crunch on it, right? right? Fly the nose down. Uh, I do find that right crosswinds are harder than left crosswinds, and I'll show you why.
it's because the edge of the the rudder control on the edge right it's harder to uh, get out so let's try that from we'll try that from a thousand feet right so a thousand feet okay release the sim 1000 stable gonna go way above there. my elevated null zones again. I could stand to be a little bit more off to the left. So I'm going to dip the wing just a little and then bring it back. Alright, remember if I want the white bricks, I got to aim a little bit low. Right, that came from a professional pilot. You don't have to come in low, but you gotta aim low once you get visual. Four hundred. Here we go. Right, see where the flight path vector is? Let's see if I can. Uh, of course I can. Take that screen picture right there. Right there. Boom. Right there. Right? Try to hold that. Two hundred. I'm even gonna take a knot off, dump some trim here. Right? I know where, where that vector is now. It's going to push 100. back. See? Just push back. That's method two. That was terrible, by the way. No applause there. Paying attention too much. That's method two. You can kick out when you land, right? I didn't even... I didn't even check that descent. That was terrible. But... Watch what happens here, right? If you touch down, see me kick it out there? On send off. You can kick it out after you land, or you can kick it out before. Uh, practice, right? So let's start from 500 feet again, right? I get a little funky on my trim there for a second. I need to... Uh, 500. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. One hundred. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Right there, I can tell you I had a little bit too much angle. And I guarantee you I was under speed. I should have been at, uh, what did we say, 130, 134? So let's see. There's 134 right there. So what was I at? <laughs> 129, so I'm five knots slow, so I'm just outside the envelope. On point. The angle is still okay. I don't like to see it too much more than that. That's probably about the max you want to go. Five and a, that's what, you, what do you call that? Five and a half degrees? That's okay. Three and a half to five and a half, I would say. Uh, two is a little bit, two is a little bit too low. I mean, every situation is going to call for something different. Now let's look at the back here, right? And I'm kicking over, right? And remember, the wind's still pushing me this way, right? So let's see, did I ease up on the rudder? Yep, ease up on that. Fly the rest of the way. Uh, that's what I got for you. Uh, if you want to see anything else, let me check if there's anything in here. USA 470. USA 470. I think Scottish Soup was trying to, uh, trying to send me a uh, distraction uh, notification there. Um, thanks for coming in, Aviation LR. Uh, you got a... Oh, count not found. There's 40 minutes on landing the A320. Uh,
can uh, we can do another one of these uh, anytime. Twenty one I actually find is a little more uh, the length. The trims usually. I don't know if they tweaked the A three twenty in the la uh, A three twenty one in the last update, but I've been finding lately that uh, I've been finding out a lot lately that my trim when usually like before it would wind up at thirty and it's just uh, unexplained. Like the three twenty, almost all the time between twenty eight and I would even say twenty seven. I think I've been using twenty eight here. Uh, I'll be sitting in this. Flying this exact approach on Monday, as long as the wind's from the uh, east northeast, which it says it's going to be. MJ, trying to see my style. Now, there's a good one I have on my phone for Lauderdale, and I wonder if I can see the. Gonna go check that. Um. Any questions, go ahead and put it in the uh, the Slack or I guess the chat here close on on uh, Omelette. And uh, we'll take questions on IFC in the Slack or anywhere else. Uh, maybe we start a voice chat here at some point. Uh, I'm going to look into how we do that. Uh, have a good night and safe.